Hey, good morning everyone. This is the Road Biker. And today is Friday the 13th. Yep. One of those days where you're supposed to uh, stay away from walking underneath ladders and black kitties and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I uh, thought today would be a good day to start putting together my attempt at doing some blogging. And uh, speaking of starting and beginning new things, I should talk about my getting into road biking again. I'm, um, I'm 66 years old and I used to do a bit of road biking quite a few years ago and about three months ago I pulled out a second-hand hybrid bike that I bought some time back and decided to get on it for the exercise and um, I enjoyed it so much did a, little bit, did a bit of uh, YouTube research and decided to get myself an entry-level road bike, which I'm on now, and really start uh, enjoying the sport. So much so, in fact, I've had this road bike now for, oh, just about seven or eight weeks, and in that time, I logged 750 miles on it. For those of you who are uh, no longer kids and are wondering about getting up on a bike yourself, well, there's an example of what could happen to you if you're not paying attention which I was, she wasn't. Um, yeah, it's a great sport, I absolutely love it. It's funny that that woman just almost ran into me because I wanted to talk about that next. Uh, as soon as this truck gets by us. Years ago, I rode a motorcycle, and uh, the reason I stopped riding a motorcycle is because it became increasingly more and more dangerous with people uh, in cars and trucks and such not paying attention to us guys on two wheels. So that lesson is carried forward. Comes another truck. Where the hell these guys are going? Normally this road is very peaceful and there's nobody on it. Anyway, uh, so the uh, lesson I learned from riding my motorcycle was to ride very defensively. You have to be defensive. You have to assume that the other guy is probably going to do something stupid based on their ignorance. Their ignorance being the fact that they're not paying attention. Like that woman back there. Obviously wasn't looking at me, didn't see me. And uh, she could have got me, I guess, if she was going a little bit faster. But as much as I enjoy being on the road, being on the bike, you get snapped back into really paying attention when somebody cuts you off like that. And it's, uh, a little sad that I'm talking about that topic because I wanted to talk about the joys of getting on the bike again after a long time. And here comes another freaking truck. I don't understand what's going on here today.
Friday. So, Friday the 13th. Starting a vlog. So as you can see, it's a pretty windy day. And let's see what these people are doing. So when you approach stop signs like this, make sure you stop. Take your life in your hands if you blast through them, thinking that the other guy's gonna see or let you go because you're on a bike. Not gonna happen, kids. A lot of wind behind me. When I turn around up here, I'm sure it's gonna be all headwind and probably won't be able to hear myself think with the wind in my ears. But I was trying to see if I can put together a video or a blog or a, a vlog, whatever they call it, to talk about some of my experiences and some of the things that go through my head as I'm riding my bike. Probably should mention we're in the town of Guilford, Connecticut. And right now we're at the town marina. And there's a pretty good wind blowing in here. And I guess I'm not giving out much information on this video so far. probably 13 miles, 15 miles an hour. It's supposed to be gusts up to 30 today. And I was kind of anxious to give this uh, vlogging a try. And that's one of the reasons I'm out here today. The last three days it's been rainy here. So I'm not gonna ride in a bike in the rain. Really didn't expect it to be this gusty this soon. They're predicting these winds for later on today. But we got them. So this little trip I'm on right now, going down to the uh, town marina, yeah, it's only about 12 miles round trip, maybe, maybe 10. I thought I'd do a quick little ride. And uh, I'm inviting all your viewers out there to check out my blog. Having a little trouble staying on point here with the, with the wind. Whew. Uphill into the wind. Every road biker's dream, right? Yeah, so maybe I should talk about getting back to never too late to start. 
Never too late to start to get on the bike. Uh. Yeah, back in July and August, it's November now, I pulled out my uh, old hybrid, started doing some five and sometimes ten mile rides on it. Street riding and uh, for the exercise. And uh, one day I'm riding along, and a guy, probably uh, a little bit older than me, quite a bit grayer, goes by me on his road bike hill. We're both heading uphill a little bit. And I was so impressed and couldn't get over the fact. That guy just zipped right by me. I might have been doing 10 miles an hour. I'm sure he was doing maybe 14. But it sure seemed like he was flying by me. So it registered with me. And I thought that was pretty amazing. I felt a little embarrassed that I was chugging along. And he seemed to be zooming along. Then less than a minute later... I think his wife came by. She was as old as he is. And she went right by me. That was it. I thought, okay. If someone like that can, can get on a road bike and have that kind of performance, I want to do the same thing. So, started doing some research on relatively are looking for bikes that got good reviews that are entry-level road bikes and uh, bought my bike online had it sent to me put it together and took it down to my local bike shop which is Zane's in Brantford and by the way those are great people uh, and I had them do all the final adjustments for the derailleur and brakes and all that sort of thing and started riding and I tell you it's it's just wonderful I, I can't say how much I enjoy this the exercise is great the fresh air is great the scenery is great I guess the point I'm making is you know you're never too old to do this kind of stuff and you don't have to spend a pile of money doing it either you could spend a pile of money. Of course, it's like anything else. You can spend money and get the top shelf item in photography or ski equipment, bicycles, whatever it is that you're interested in. But for me, it was about the exercise, the getting out on the bike and enjoying the ride. And I do enjoy the ride. I enjoy it immensely. I've had one or two close calls. People pulling out on me, which I didn't expect them to do. But that's a shame on me. I should know that they're going to probably do that. And be ready for it. So within six or eight weeks of riding, I've gone to, for I'm struggling with riding five, six, ten miles to doing 30 mile bike rides now. And uh, routinely and easily I can do 20 miles without a problem. Uh, this is a tricky situation rolling up a bunch of cars at a red light you do not want to get anybody's blind spot and you do not want to cut anybody off <laughs> but 
Okay. The other thing is, I haven't had any accidents on my bike. I have fallen once in a parking lot. Uh, the reason I fell is that I ride with uh, toe straps. I don't have the clipless pedals. Again, that's an expense I uh, didn't want to spring for right off the top. But regardless if I was in the clipless pedal or the straps that I have, I made the mistake of not being ready to move and I had my foot in one of the pedals or one of the straps, lost my balance going toward that side of the bike where my foot was in the pedal and my foot wasn't available to put down and catch me from falling over. So yeah, fell over, landed on my elbow, really banged it up pretty good. Hurt like hell because I fell on the asphalt. But you know, it's stuff like that that teaches you new things. And the thing that it taught me is whenever I'm coming up, slowing down, feeling that I'm gonna be stopping, I get both my toes out of the toe straps in the event that I lose my balance or something comes up and I need to put a foot down. So you kind of get in a routine of uh, how to handle certain situations coming to a stop and cornering and all that sort of thing. But. Uh, Toe straps are a great idea. I feel more secure, more connected with the bike by using them. And uh, I guess if I were to have a recommendation for those who are starting off riding uh, road bikes, that's one of the things you ought to put on your list. Toe clips or toe straps. Now the other thing that I did find very surprising about riding, and I may not, it may not sound it based on my breathing, but I was surprised how quickly my, uh, my strength built up in my legs. As an example, this little hill we just went up, when I was riding my hybrid, I literally would sw switch into the lowest possible gear to try to climb that little hill. And what I just did now is I remained completely seated, pedaled right up it. Same thing with this hill coming up here. Now don't get me wrong, I'm working at it. I'm breathing harder doing it, but I'm doing it. Whew. Now they predicted a very windy, blustery, cool day. So you see me wearing gloves, but I'm one of these guys that likes it cool and cold actually. And uh, I can tell you, I can live without the gloves. It's beautiful. Whew. So kids, especially you gray haired ones, it's never, a little, never too late to start or restart something. And for me, it's getting back on a bike.
the other thing I should mention about my road bike Whew. years ago when I used to ride they were called a 10 speed and for the life of me I can't even remember how that thing shifted but this bike that bike and the hybrid that I have all have rear view mirrors I notice a lot of road bikers that I see don't use a rear view mirror and uh, I honestly don't know why you wouldn't want one but for me I don't like the idea of being surprised someone coming up behind me so as I was mentioning before there are certain habits that you should develop as you ride or learn to ride or do more riding like I mentioned the uh, toe straps getting out of them watching out for those people pulling up from side streets but a rear view mirror I have one on my bike and Every 10 or 15 seconds, I quickly look down to see that mirror, see if anybody's coming up behind me. As I said earlier, I drive defensively. It's one thing to see what's going on in front of you. It's another thing to make sure nothing's coming up behind you. So, this is my first attempt at a vlog. Uh, short video, short film. Thought I'd have a little fun with it. To be honest with you, it's taken me a little while to figure out what to talk about, how to talk about it. Especially being preoccupied riding a bike. But, maybe this is just the first of many. Thanks for watching today, and I'm glad you were able to come along. See you next time. Hey, good morning, everyone. This is the Road Biker. And today is Friday the 13th. Yep. One of those days where you're supposed to uh, stay away from walking underneath ladders and black kitties and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I uh, thought today would be a good day to start putting together my attempt at doing some blogging. And uh, speaking of starting and beginning new things, I should talk about my getting into road biking again. I'm, um, I'm 66 years old and I used to do a bit of road biking quite a few years ago. And about three months ago, I pulled out a second-hand hybrid bike that I bought some time back and decided to get on it for the exercise. And um, I enjoyed it so much, did a, little bit, did a bit of uh, YouTube research and decided to get myself an entry-level road bike, which I'm on now. And really start uh, enjoying the sport. So much so, in fact, I've had this road bike now for, oh, just about seven or eight weeks. And in that time, I've logged 750 miles on it. The 
those of you who are uh, 